Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing absolutely well. Guys, in today's video, we are going to uh, do questions for your Cognizant Gen C cluster to Python based MCQs. Guys, as we know that Cognizant has recently updated their pattern and in that, in cluster based questions, you are also going to get MCQs based on the particular cluster that you have got. So, for example, if you have got your cluster 1 which is Java, then you will also get some MCQs based on that and if you have got your cluster 2, then you will get Python MCQs and this video is for that purpose only so that you get a good practice of questions that can come in your uh, Python as cluster. Okay, so guys, make sure to watch the video complete and if you are finding it helpful, please give it a like and do subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel. And guys, if you are not aware, I have a complete playlist on Cognizant prep on my channel. Make sure to check that playlist. You will find actual questions from technical assessment uh, of Cognizant Gen C in that playlist. And guys, by the end of this video, I have a DIY question for all of you in this video. Make sure to attempt it and write down its answer in the comment box. So let's get started with the first question. So guys, let's look at this question. Python is known as, and we have different four options given to us. First option is a combined language. Second option is an interpreted language. Third option is a machine language. And option B is an assembly language. So guys, the correct answer for this question is going to be option number B, which is your an interpreted language language so guys python is basically an interpreted language which means that python code is executed line by line okay so whenever a language is an interpreted language the uh, like you know language or the code will be interpreted line by line moving on to the next question now which version of python removed the print statement okay and we have different options given to us python 1.x python 2.x 3.x and 4.x okay basically all the uh, versions after three point were like you know having the like rem which remove the print statement so the correct answer will be option number c okay so in python 3.x the print statement from python 2.x was replaced with print function okay so uh, like now we have print function instead of print statement okay let's move on to the next question now which of the following is a valid python comment okay and we have different options okay so for those of you if you are not aware option c is the correct answer so in order to write a comment in python we use a pound symbol okay next question that we have is python is a which type of like language okay the four options that are given to us is low level language high level language middle level language and machine level language so guys the correct answer for this question is going to be option number b which is high level language okay so the correct answer is option b which is python is a high level programming language due to its natural language elements okay moving on to the next question which of these data types does python not natively support okay and the options are given to us as list tuples arrays and dictionaries okay so the correct answer is option number c which is arrays okay so arrays are not built into python and are required uh, and require modules like array or numpy okay next question that we have is which of the following is a mutable data type in python the options are string tuple list and integer so guys the correct answer for this is going to be option number c which is your list okay so lists in python are mutable which means that they can be changed after your creation okay next question that we have is what data type would you use to store a whole number in python and the different options are int float string and boolean so guys the correct answer is the data type int will be used okay in order to store a whole number so option a is correct answer okay next question is which of the following is not a python built in data type the options are dist array set and frozen set so the correct answer is option number b which is your array okay so like while dict set and frozen set are built in data types array is not a built in data type but can be used with an imported module okay so that is why we have selected option b as the answer for this question moving on to the next question what will be the data type of the variable x after this assignment okay so what is the assignment that is given to us x equals to 3.5 and the options that we have is int float string and complex so we know we already have seen in the previous question that int is used to store whole number so the correct assignment will be your float okay because float it, like float can store floating point integers okay which means like decimal uh, float numbers basically which has like points in it next question is which of the following is an immutable data type the options are lists dictionaries tuples and sets so the correct answer is option number c which is your tuples okay 
सो टपल्स आर बेसिकली इम्यूटेबल इन पाइथन विच मीन्स दैट देयर कंटेंट्स कैन नॉट बी ऑल्टर आफ्टर क्रिएशन ओके मूविंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच की वर्ड इज यूज टू डिफाइन अ फंक्शन इन पाइथन वी हैव डिफरेंट ऑप्शन एज डेफ फंक फंक्शन एंड डिफाइन ओके Let's say this next question, which is what is the output of the following code snippet? Okay, and we have this code snippet, which is one line of code which is given to us. Print type hello world. Basically, uh, what the output that we will get for this one? Okay, so the options that are given to us is class str, class int, class list. Okay, and uh, class list again. The correct answer is option number A. Okay, which is your class str. So. let's see answer is going to be option number a okay see basically the type function reveals that hello world is a string okay that is why uh, when we write type of hello world it will type what uh, it will tell what will be the type of this uh, like you know text word which we have written moving on to the next question what does the following code output okay again we have some piece of code and we have to tell what will be the output for this one see the code is x equals to 1 2 3 this is an array and uh, it is like basically checking type of x equals equal list okay so the correct answer for this will be true option a okay option a true will be the correct answer see since x is a list type x equal equals to list evaluates to true okay so the correct answer for this question will be list moving on to the next question what will be the output of the following pseudo code we have a pseudo code given to us and we have to find out the output of it okay see the uh, code is initialize x as 10 If x is of type int, print integer. Else, print not integer. See, x as ten means what? X equals to ten, and then it will check if x is a type of integer. Yes, because it is a whole number. So yes, it will print integer. The correct answer for this question is going to be option number A, that is integer. Moving on to the next question. Again, we have a pseudo code, and we have to tell uh, what will be the output. Okay. See, uh, the code is variable x equals to Python. Check if x is a string. If yes, then print a string. Otherwise, print not a string. So we have x, and then uh, it is assigned some value like this. Okay, Python, and then we have to tell whether it is a string or not. So yes, it is clearly a string. So it will just go into this yes case, and just it will print a string. So that the correct answer is going to be option A for this question as well. Moving on to the next question now. Evaluate this pseudo code. We are given a pseudo code. We have to figure out what will be the output. Okay, so we have a set x equals to one, two, three, and if x is a list, print length of x. Else, print not a list. Okay, see x equals to one, two, three. Okay, and it is told if x is a list. Yes, it is clearly a list. So we have to just print the length of it. So the length of it is three. So we will just print three. Okay, so the correct answer is option number A. Moving on to the next question. Identify the error in this code. Okay, so we have a code that is given to us, and we have to find out what is the error in this code. Okay, so we have x equals to one, two, three, and then we are like you know printing x. So options that are given to us is syntax error in variable x. Option B is missing parenthesis in print. Option C is missing bracket in x, and no error. See guys, the code x equals to one, two, three. What uh, print x is syntactically correct, and it will execute without any errors. it correctly defines a list x and it will print x okay when we will do this so the correct answer for this question is going to be option number d with no error okay moving on to the next question which is find the mistake we have a code given to us we have to figure out what is the mistake in this code the code is x equals to 1 2 3 x of 1 equals 4 print x okay see the options that are given to us is tuples are immutable x of 1 should be x of 2 syntax error no error So the correct answer for this question will be option number A. That is, tuples are immutable, so you cannot perform this type of operation on tuples. Okay, that is why we are getting the error. Tuples are immutable in Python. So attempting to change an element of a tuple results in an error. Okay. Moving on to the next question, which is what which function is used to read input from the console in Python? We have the options as input, read, scan, and get input. so the correct answer for this is going to be option number a which is your input method so input function is used to read a string from a standard input in python okay okay so guys before we move on to the next question if you are watching this video and if you are finding it helpful please make sure that you do give it a like and subscribe to the channel let's see the next question that we have what is the default type of data returned by the input function in python 3.x the options are int string boolean and list okay so the correct answer for this question will be option number b which is string 
okay see guys in python 3.x the input function always returns the data as a string okay so that is why the correct answer for this question is option b which is a string next question is which function in python is used to display data as output so the options are display function print function show and output function so guys the correct answer is option number b which is print function okay print function is used for output in python okay moving on to the next question what is the purpose of the end parameter in print function the options are to add a space at the end option b is to end the script option c to specify the string appended after the last value and option d to break the line the correct answer is option number c that is to specify the string appended after the last value moving on to the next question what does this sep parameter do in a uh, print function okay or sep parameter do in a uh, print function the options are separate lines option b is separate separator between values option c is separate syntax errors and option d is none of the above so the correct answer for this will be option number b which is separate separator between values okay so the set parameter in print function specify the separator between the output values okay moving on to the next question which is what will be the output of this statement that is given to us that is print python programming set okay and then dash the options that we have is python dash programming option b is python programming with a space option c is python programming without any space and option d is python programming with a comma so the correct answer will be op uh, option a guys which is python dash programming okay so basically the set equals to dash thing that we have written here this parameter will separate the words python and the programming with a hyphen okay in between that is why the correct answer is option a next question that we have is what is the output of this code that is given to us uh, the code is print hello and then and equals to at the rate and then print world uh, the options that we have is hello world without any space option b is hello at the rate world option c is hello world and option uh, option c is hello world with a space and option d is hello at the rate space world so guys the correct answer for this question is going to be option number b which is hello at the rate world see how it is working so first of all it is printing hello and then at the end of hello it will print at the rate and then one space will be there and then world okay so the correct answer will be hello at the rate uh, sorry a space will not be there because we are not giving any space uh, separately after at the rate or before world so it will be hello at the rate world without any spaces okay so it that is why we have not selected option d we have selected option b so the correct answer for this one is option b moving on to the next question which is based on pseudo code the question is ask user for number multiply by 2 and then print the results so the options is uh, first option is read number print double option b is reads a string print same option c is error in input and option d is no output so guys the correct answer is option number a which is reads number prints double okay basically the pseudo codes describe reading a number doubling it and then printing the result that is what we need right moving on to the next question which is again pseudo code based question print each element in the list 1 to 3 with a space in between okay and uh, the what is the output then in this case okay we have to figure this out so the output will be 1 2 3 okay uh the pseudo code is basically suggesting to print the results with the spaces resulting in 1 2 3 so basically guys in this option you might not observe that there is a space but the option will look something like this okay uh like there will be some space in between but the yeah uh, the most matching answer is option a here so we are selecting that and we are considering that there will be a spaces between them okay moving on to the next question which is pseudo code based the question is initialize a variable with python print first and last character the options is print pn option b is print py option c is print python and option d is an error the correct answer is option a which prints uh, which is prints pn which is first letter p and last letter n moving on to the next question identify the given uh, error in the given code okay so we have the code as print hello world okay and then uh, we have the options missing quotation marks extra parenthesis missing parenthesis and no error so guys the correct answer is option b which is extra parenthesis so guys if you notice here our this parenthesis is opening here and it is closing here and this last one is extra that is why we it will give an error of extra parenthesis moving on to the next question find the mistake okay so we have this code given to us we have to find the mistake in it and let's read the code first 
we have this variable user input user underscore input equals input enter a number and then print you entered and then int user input we have the options as syntax error no error int function should be string and option d is input function should used correct incorrectly so guys let me tell you the correct answer for this question is option b which is no error because as such there is no error in this code basically what is happening the code user input equals to in like this entire code is correctly taking the user input and it is converting it to integer and then finally printing it right so that is why there is no error in this snippet moving on to the next question uh, and guys this is a diy question now what is a diy question it is a homework question for you i will not be telling you the answer of this question if you have watched the video so far till this question I would humbly request you that please do attempt this question and write down the answer of it in the comment section. I will be telling you whether your answer was correct or not. So let's read the question. What is the purpose of an if statement in Python? The options are to loop through a sequence, to execute a block conditionally, to define a function, to handle exceptions. So the, there is one correct answer out of these. So make sure to attempt it and write down its answer in the comment box. So that's all for today guys. I hope you found the video helpful. If you have any doubts, please let me know in the comment section. Make sure to join me on Telegram and Instagram as well. You can ask your queries in the Instagram DM as well. And if you need any content, you can request it on, your, on our Telegram channel. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done yet to receive all the latest regular updates. I regularly post off-campus drives and preparation related videos for placements on my channel. So that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching the video.